What's up, guys? Today, we are going to be putting every single item in League in a tier list. This is going to be all legendary items, no components, but every single item, whether it's been played zero times on Belveth or all the time, whether it's just a meme build like AP Belveth, whether it's a good support Belveth build, mid Belveth build, jungle, top, you name it, this is what we're going to be going off. All right, so... This is how we're going to be ranking them. It's not just going to be like uh, just the jungle Belveth items are going to be all S tier. Uh, the S tier items are going to be items that are gone on pretty much every single Belveth build, no matter if you're playing off roll, like support mid or top, uh, or if it's just jungle Belveth. So if it's just a jungle Belveth item, uh, the best it could be is A tier or B tier. Uh, so A tier is going to be like those good, consistent items. S tier is like no matter what Belveth you're playing, you're probably going to build this item uh, or you're likely to build this item. Or if it's really good for a specific role, that might carry it up to S or A. Uh, B and C tier are going to be our situational items. Like let's just say if you're playing AP Belveth and it's the best item for AP Belveth, that might be a B tier item because AP Belveth is very bad. But if you're going to be playing it, uh, that item carries the build. And then D tier is just going to be the items that you pretty much will never build no matter what, or they're just so situational that uh, it's just not really worth considering. Uh, I am going to be trying to rearrange them so that uh, the top of S is the best of the best. But yeah, all right, so let's get right into it. So Eclipse, very good item for lane Belveth, mid and top, but it's not played very often on support or jungle. It's really good for laning, getting a lot of good duels. I think I'm going to put this at a nice solid A tier. It probably will end up being top of A, but we'll see. All right, next up is Hextech Rocket Belt. It is an AP item, so not uh, obviously going to put it in B or C automatically, or maybe even D. Um, I don't think it's the best AP item for Belveth, but it is pretty useful. Uh, so I'm going to put it in C for now. I might end up moving it to B for later. Uh, there's no dead stats on this one. Gives you health, AP, and an extra dash to help get your W damage off. How AP Belveth functions is her W and her ult are pretty much the only AP ratios. So you have to play off of those and just get those get that damage off. It's more of a burst slash reset play style. So we're going to put that in C tier for now. All right, next up is Heartsteel. Now, Heartsteel is a it's a decent item on Belveth. It's not played in often at all, but and it does give a lot of stats with the health and um the proc. But the downside to this item is the proc is actually reduced by Belveth's passive. So and and that includes the health that you gain as well. So unfortunately I think I am gonna have to put this in C tier. I would put it in B if uh, Belveth's 75% on hit damage reduction uh, didn't exist, but uh, unfortunately it does, so I'm going to have to put it in C. All right, now this one's going to surprise a lot of you. Bork is a solid item, but it's only really played on Jungle Belveth, and while Jungle Belveth is the most popular build, I think that the item is very mediocre at best, um, and I think it should be a lot more situational than people put it out to be. I've done the numbers on this. Orc just does not deal nearly as much damage as Kraken Slayer or anything else that you could go, pretty much. Uh, the only benefit is with the healing, but I think if you need the healing, you're better off going either um, Ravenous Hydra or Immortal Shield Bow or even, um, even Bloodthirster. So I'm actually going to put this in C tier. I'll put it in the top of C, but... Uh, yeah, that's going to surprise a lot of you, but yeah, that's where we're going to put it. All right, next up is, it's the Crypt Bloom. All right, Crypt Bloom um, is not a very good AP item. AP Belveth doesn't actually have a lot of magic damage. It's a little bit of magic damage and then a little bit of true damage. But the one benefit of this over Void Staff is uh, you do really like um, the reset heal that it does so if you do need a magic pen item because you're getting a lot of w's off this is the one to go but it's ap belveth not very popular um and not that good of an ap belveth item 
right, next up, Experimental Hel Hexplate. This is terrible. You're never going to use this because it's uh, it gives you ultimate ability haste. Uh, your ultimate has one second cooldown. Pretty much never going to build this item. The reset is somewhat useful, but um, it's just not worth building this item. It's just too many wasted stats. So we're going to put that in D tier. All right, Death Stance. Death Stance is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm definitely going to put that in A tier. Um, hmm, I might even put that in S. I'm going to put it in A tier for now because I haven't decided what I want for S tier and how exclusive I want it to be. But it's pretty much useful for most of the... Belveth builds, uh, the only one it's not really used in is support, because support doesn't get enough income. So we're going to put that in A tier. All right, Infinity Edge. It is actually quite a good item on Belveth, um, but it's not played often at all. I would say it's very situational, so I think I'm going to end up putting this in C tier. Yeah, we're going to leave that there. Um, she does have two abilities that crit and would benefit from the damage amp, and... This coming patch, when they buff Infinity Edge, I might actually end up moving it to B. But for now, it's a C tier item. Uh, would pretty much only be useful if you're really far ahead. So, and you, when you're really far ahead, you're may, you're better off building defensive items anyways. Imperial Mandate. It does have the dead stat of the mana regen, which is unfortunate. But other than that, it gives you a lot of AP. It gives you some ability haste. And... The procs are actually pretty useful. So I don't think this is a D tier AP item. I think this is a C tier. I'm going to put it above Crypt Bloom. Uh, Ardent Sensor, absolutely trash. You are you can't heal anyone. And even if you could, you probably wouldn't want to build it. All right, this is also in D tier for the same reason as Experimental Hexplate because uh, you this all this item does is reduces the cooldown of your ultimate when you get kills. So very useless. Uh, if you're going tank items on Belveth, there are a lot better items to go. So I'm probably going to end up putting this in B tier. Dead Man's Plate, on the other hand, is actually, it's pretty solid. The only downside to this item, uh, you would build this on support Belveth last patch, but it is now overshadowed by Trailblazer, which is just a lot better. It gives the slow instead of the damage. Uh, the damage, as I mentioned for some items before, is actually reduced because of Belveth's passive, so it does decrease the value. But it's not a bad option, um, but it pretty much will always be replaced by um, Trailblazer, which is Belve one of Belveth support's main items. Essence Reaver. Um, it's not built currently on any Belveth builds, but... Um, if a Belveth were to go a bursty playstyle with Sheen, this is actually one of the best items. Um, you are wasting the stat of the mana gain, but this item has seen play, uh, with stuff like Rengar, uh, which also doesn't, is not a mana character. So I am going to end up putting that in B tier because I think it be, could be useful on all four Belveth builds. Uh, it's just overshadowed by a lot of items right now. See, I'm putting this in B tier because it's useful for a lot of different, potentially good for a lot of different Belveth builds, even though it's not meta right now. I wonder if that's a reason why it should be C instead. I'm putting too much in C. We're going to have to rearrange this later, but I'm going to put that in C as well. Hubris. Actually, very, very solid if you are ahead. Situational, but every single Belveth build can use Hubris. I've built it a few times myself. Pretty good. All right, Rage Blade can be built on jungle, but is very, very um, situational. It's very snowball-y. Um, I'm going to probably end up putting this at the bottom of B. Um, you, you pretty much don't run the on-hit items on mid or top or support, uh, but Jungle Belveth does like Rage Blade sometimes, just not very often. This is going to be D tier. Horizon Focus. Uh, it used to be really good when the CC also procced the effect, but now CC doesn't proc the effect anymore. It's only the, uh, if you shoot something from far enough away, it procs it. So now Belveth can't really use it. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Not a good AP Belveth item. All right, Bloodthirster. I'm going to put this in B tier because I think it's very solid uh, for every single Belveth build except for support because support doesn't get the income. Um... So yeah, I'm going to put that in B tier. Cosmic Drive, actually a pretty good AP item. Uh, I'm going to put it above Imperial Mandate. 
Uh, you really do like the ability haste when you go AP Belveth because you're relying on your W. So getting that more often is very, very useful, very helpful. Yeah. Blood Song. Definitely an A tier. Uh, when you're playing support Belveth, this is your go-to. This is the support item that you want. Uh, I might even move it to S, depending on how much we get in S. Force of Nature. I am going to put this in C tier above um, Dead Man's Plate. Because if you are going to go tanky Belveth build, this is probably one of the defensive items you will go. It's a very heavy magic resist item that gives you some extra movement speed. Uh, very helpful for getting on top of targets and getting your resets off. All right, Black Cleaver, S tier for sure. You run this on every single, and I actually mean every single Belveth build. Um, you can go top, mid, jungle, or support with Black Cleaver. I've built it on all four before. Um, very, very solid. Uh, that, this might actually be the best S tier item. That being said, Kraken Slayer, also S tier, but I think it is going to be below Black Cleaver because you don't build this on support. Um, that is a very just small bump to the item, but this item carries Belveth and every other role. Um, it's a very close game between Cleaver and Kraken. Holebreaker. Very solid item for lane Belveth, but situational. Uh, I'll probably put it at the bottom of A tier. The on hit uh, after every four attacks is very, very helpful uh, and allows you to make some split push plays. It's really good when you're ahead, but your team isn't that ahead um, and you don't want to team fight. Really, really helpful for getting some extra pressure on the map. Archangels. Worst of the worst. Uh, it, it's a mana item. Very bad. Luden's Companion. Um, it is bad, but I think it's like closer to the top of D because uh, it is uh, a lot of AP and you're just missing out on the mana stats. And the effect of it is actually pretty useful. But yeah, I'm just not that good. Lich Bane. Probably one of the best AP items for Belveth. I think we'll even put that above Cosmic Drive. Um, if you are going to go AP, Ida, AP Belveth, you are probably going to run this. I think I'll even put it above Rocket Belt. All right, Mortal Reminder. Situational item. Uh, we're going to put this in B tier. You can run this on uh, all of the uh, Belveth builds that actually get gold. Um, so just not support. It is your go-to most of the time for heal reduction. Morellos, um, it's decent if you are going to go heal reduction on um, AP Belveth, but other than that, very situational that you'll ever do that. Leandries, a very solid AP Belveth item. The only downside is you don't get the ability haste, so you would probably run this in conjunction with Cosmic Drive, but very useful to be able to get the in-combat stats. I even did a, a funny little build where we did a bunch of... Um, of the haunting guises, uh, just with AD Belveth, and that was even pretty good. All right, man immune. I actually gonna put this. No, I'm not. I'm still gonna put it in D tier because you wouldn't ever build it. I wish you could build this on Belveth, but uh, you can't because it is a mana item. But if she was a mana champion, it would be very very good. All right, Magi's. I actually think we're gonna put this just right behind Bork. Um, this is kind of what enables you to be able to do stuff on AP Belveth um, because it is a very snowball-y build. It's not very good, so you want to get ahead and just burst people down. Simple as that. Echoes of Helia. If you could heal or shield people, it would be pretty helpful, but you can't, so I'm going to put it ahead of Ardent Sensor. Opportunity. A decent Assassin Belveth item. Very situational. You would probably only run this uh, as mid lane Belveth, but... I'd say it's pretty decent. I'm going to put it ahead of Magi's and behind Bork. Moonstone, trash. Uh, even if you could heal, you wouldn't want to use this. Uh, Fimble Winter, it's a mana item. I'm going to put it behind or ahead of Archangels. Rapid Fire, uh, you're a melee character, so not very helpful. You would only build this for the zeal. So I'm going to put it like ahead of Echoes of Helia. Maybe even ahead of Hexplate. Frozen Heart. I actually think this is a pretty decent item. Um, I'm going to put it behind um, Heart Steel. You are missing out on the mana, but I don't think that the item is bad, even if you're missing out on the mana, because uh, just reducing their attack speed and giving you a ton of armor, uh, this would be good in conjunction if you already have a bunch of health, like if you have Black Cleaver and um, 
Coalbreaker, for example, that gives you a lot of health. You could use the Frozen Heart in conjunction with that to be very tanky against an all-AD team, for example. Probably overshadowed by Randuins most of the time, but there are some trace situations where I would build this. Guardian Angel, very solid situational item that you can build on all of the uh, non-support Velvet builds. That's pretty... Uh, and we're going to do the same thing with Mercur Mercurial Scimitar. Uh, QSS, obviously a very useful ability to avoid CC. And we're just on a roll here. We're going to put uh, this above these two. Uh, Serpent's Fang is very useful on Belveth. I would build this on any Belveth build if I needed to um, break some shields. I'll even put this as an A. I have a video on this item. It's it's very, very good. Uh, out of all of the support items that give you mana, this is probably one of the better ones. So I'll put that like middle of D. Probably wouldn't build it ever, but uh, if you were for some reason to go a healing Belveth build, that would kind of be required. So Jack Show. Jack Show is a very, very solid Belveth item. No matter what role you're going, I'm going to put that uh, right behind Death Stance, I would say. Actually, I'll put it behind Blood Song because Blood Song carries support. Very solid. Sundered Sky. I've tried this item a lot on Belveth. I'm going to put it in the middle of C. Um, it's it's solid, but it just doesn't end up doing enough. I think this just has to do with um, how Belveth works with um, her passive reducing the effect of it. So kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Spear of Shojin. We're going to put that in S tier. I think it is useful on the non-support Belveth builds. Uh, it amps the damage of her dashes, and she can stack it up very, very quickly to get, like, 12% extra damage on all of her abilities. This works on her E, W, Q, and ult. Very, very good. And getting the ability haste uh, on the W and E is super, super helpful as well. All right. Shadow Flame. We are definitely going to put this in C tier, I think, above um, Magi's. Uh, it's very useful for amping the damage of your ult. That's its main use. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. Um, Kana Crew Kern. We're going to put that right next to where is Force of Nature. Uh, just like I said about Force of Nature, if you are going to build uh, Magic Resist or any sort of tanky items, this is one of the better ones because it just gives you a lot of Magic Resist and the extra shield. Doncor. I've never seen this item built by anyone ever. I'm putting it at the bottom. Uh, flow, staff flowing water. We're going to put that right above Doncor because I don't ever see that item built either. Surreal does. It used to be really, really good on Belveth, but uh, I'm going to put that right behind Opportunity because it's overshadowed by Cleaver and Terminus. It's not quite as good anymore. Celestial Opposition. Uh, I don't build this as a support Belveth, but I would be willing to. Uh, I haven't tried it out yet, so I'm going to put it at the bottom of B. A lot of pikes are running this because uh, they've noticed that Blood Song after the nerfs are not as useful. It allows you to be a lot tankier when you're an otherwise squishy character. You could build this with a more um, attack damage heavy Belveth build, and it would allow you to be a little bit tankier. So you could use this, uh, get the effect off for the reduced damage, and then use your E afterwards for just a really long uh, period of time where you're just not taking as much damage. Knight's Vow. It's actually a solid tank item. I'm going to put it at the bottom of C. It's definitely not a D tier item. Uh, I'm going to put that ahead of Marillos and Essence. Rylize. I have not built this on AP Velveth, but I would consider it. So I'm going to put it at the bottom of C. Storm Surge, actually a pretty solid AP Belveth item. I think I'll put it above uh, Imperial Mandate. It's just really good for the burst damage. Um, yeah, not too bad. Sorelius. Sorelius, uh, it probably wouldn't be too bad uh, as an AP Belveth item, but you kind of want more damage. So I'm going to put it under this tab with uh, all of the AP support items with the mana items. Thornmail. I would very rarely build this as a tank item on Belveth, so I'm going to put it at the bottom of C. Yeah, it's it's not that good. Phantom Dancer. It's not too bad. Uh, I've tried it a few times. Uh, it's overshadowed by Kraken Slayer, Immortal Shield Bow, a lot of the other crit items, but uh, I'm going to put it in this like area with Bork and um, 
opportunity and surreal does. Sunfire, uh, I'm going to put this in kind of the same vein as Thornmail. It's okay, but you're not going to be stacking a bunch of health as Belveth, so it's not going to end up being that useful. All right, now on to the good stuff. We have Stridebreaker, one of the best Belveth items. It is very core on, or it's almost always core on uh, Jungle Belveth, and I had a good run going at mid and top as well. I've kind of stopped going at mid and, mid and top because uh, I've been preferring to go other items for ability haste, uh, preferring Ravitus Hydra a lot of the time because it gives you a lot more AD, uh, but there are situations where I would still build it. Uh, it's very useful for the slow and uh, enables you to, if you Q and Stride Breaker at the same time, it's pretty much undodgeable slow. Uh, so it ends up being pretty helpful. Okay, Navori Quick Blades. I'm going to put this in B tier. I do not build this item very much at all, but it's so close to being so good. There is unfortunately a bug with um, Quick Blades on Belveth. If you don't have any Qs up, your Quick Blades will not refund your ability costs at all when you auto attack. So just a, a really dumb bug that exists in the game, right? Please fix. Uh, it's been in the game since Belva's release, but has never been fixed. Okay, Riftmaker, very solid AP item. I'm going to put it above Cosmic Drive, actually. Uh, it's just really good for getting the extra bonus damage uh, when you're in a fight for a while. Um, and Omni Vamp is pretty helpful for the resets. Storm Razor, I'm going to put this right below Bork. Um, it's a very solid item. Uh, it gives you a lot of movement speed. Uh, the energized effects are actually pretty good on Belveth because every single auto attack gives you a set amount of energy stacks, and that is actually not reduced by Belveth's passive. So your E will um, give you like a lot of energy when you use it. You can sometimes get two procs of it. Um, if you combine this with fleet as well, you kind of just zoom around the map. You can queue on a minion and then like zoom past the minion and get a good W off on people a lot of the time. All right, Spirit Visage. Uh, I'm gonna put this below Storm Razor. Uh, it is a very solid item, especially for Jungle Belveth. When you're, uh, if if you do run Bork on Jungle Belveth, going uh, Spirit Visage is really good. Uh, it increases the amount that you heal. Combos really well with your E. Honestly, I should try building this more on mid Belveth. Um, but yeah, very very good. Sterax. That is a very solid B tier item. I'm going to put it above um, Hubris. Definitely top of B. Uh, I would. This is very meta for top lane Belveth. I would even consider putting this in A tier. Um, top lane Belveth uses this the most. I use this a lot in mid Belveth, but I think jungle players should also use this item. They don't use it enough, um, but it's very good, uh, especially when comboed with um, Jack Show. All right. Kempunk Chainsword, I'm going to put this uh, at the bottom of B. Uh, it is your second best option for heal reduction, and sometimes I would build it, um, but I just think um, Mortal Reminder is usually a little better. The wording item, um, I, I would definitely consider it as a support Belveth, but it's not super good. I think I'm just going to put it ahead of Rapid Fire. Void Staff, uh, I mentioned before, it's not as good as Crit Bloom, so I'm going to put it pretty far back in D, put it ahead of Echoes of Helia. Umbral Glaive, of course. Umbral Glaive is um, very solid for support Belveth. Uh, probably one of the better items. I'm actually going to put that in bottom of B. Support Belveth isn't very popular anymore, but this item is sometimes very good. A support Belveth. No, that's good. That's got to push it back to C. I'm going to go put it in C. Wit's End. I like this item so much more than Blade the Rune King on every single Belveth build, and I don't understand why Bork is so popular over this item. So I'm going to put it in A tier. I think I would build this as uh, mid, top, or jungle uh, in, in different situations. Terminus, S tier. It's probably bottom of S tier. I think Black Cleaver is proving to be a lot better than it but uh, it is still a very, very solid item. It gives you the most um, armor, percent armor penetration um, other than, um, 
what's what's the other item? Lord Dom's next patch, I think, is gonna be buffed to thirty five percent. But I think this, uh, I think Terminus is a little bit better. It also got buffed. I haven't played it as much post buff, but uh, to be fair, Black Cleaver got buffed at the same time, so that's why I've been playing that. Zeke's Convergence. Uh, I would almost never run this because it has mana, uh, waste loss stats. I'm gonna put it ahead of these two trash items. Cyclosword. I had a good uh, run experimenting with this. I'm going to put it ahead of Stormraiser. I think it's a little bit better. Edge of Night. There are situations where I would build this. I'm going to put it behind um, Opportunity because it's a little more situational, but I don't think it's bad at all. Zonias. Uh, I'm going to put this pretty high up as well. It is definitely really useful as AP Belveth because you rely a lot on resets. Um, you probably want to go at like second or third. It's rough because it doesn't have ability haste anymore, but it's still a very, very good item as AP Belveth. All right. Um, we are going to put uh, Trailblazer at the bottom of A because it is another carry item for Belveth support. Uh, without this item, Belveth support would be a lot worse. It's very cheap. It gives you a lot of movement speed. It gives you a slow on your auto attack or your Q. Just a very, very good item. Shield Bow. I'm also going to put an A tier. Uh, I Jungle players hate this item over Bork for some reason. It's 300 or 200 gold cheaper than Bork, and it offers a lot more value and survivability. If I don't run Sterex when I play mid or top, this is uh, usually what I end up going. So Shield Bow, very solid item on mid, top, or jungle. Static Shiv. Static Shiv is meh on Belveth. Uh, it the energized effect gets reduced by Belveth's passive, so that makes it a lot worse. We're gonna put it in D tier, um, ahead, probably bottom top of D tier. Yumus, Yumus is very solid. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in C tier. Um, there are some situations where I would run this. It's not very common. Uh, probably in this same vein of Edge of Night, Opportunity stuff like that. Okay, Trinity Force. Uh, it used to be really good, um, but I think now it's in this C tier area again. Uh, just not always super useful. Um, Sheen items are just becoming a lot less popular on Belveth. Uh, it's hard to proc them properly, and the Sheen effect does get reduced by Belveth's passive as well. Hydra. That this is an S tier item. Uh, I build this every single game on mid right now. It's not super common in jungle or top, but I have seen it every once in a while. It's not, not definitely not the worst. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this item is called, but it's a healing. It's the healing upgrade for the support item, and it's not very good on Belveth. Unending Despair. Uh, I think this item is decent, but I think it's in the same vein as uh, Sunfire and Thornmail, so I'm going to put it in that area. It's not super, super good. Uh, do, do, do. Mikhail's. Uh, just a lot of wasted stats. I think it's better than Shirelia's and Archangel's, though. Collector. It's very situational. I think I'm going to put it in C tier, kind of in the same, just below these tank items. Banshees. Uh, if you're running AP, pretty good, but, uh, you're not going to run it very often. Zack Zax, uh, I think it's overshadowed by a lot of the other support items, but I actually think it deserves a B tier slot. I have never played it with it before, but it deals a lot of damage. Uh, so if you do want to deal damage as Belveth support, no, I can't put that B tier with the right conscious. If I test this item out and it does well, I will move this uh, at a later time, but... This time right now, I cannot say in the right conscious that it is that good. Okay, Lord Doms. Uh, probably in the same vein as Collector. Uh, I would very rarely build this because you have Black Claver and Terminus that are very, very solid items already on Belveth. Um, so you're probably not going to build these other ones. Okay, uh, this item is trash. Ooh, put that in that same vein. Rod of Ages, also not very good. Runans. I wish I could build this on Belveth, but it literally doesn't let you. So that's too bad. Uh, they For a little bit, they were thinking about um, letting you build it on Belveth, but they ended up ditching that idea. 
Dasher's Tooth. Not too bad of an AP item. I think it's just below Lich Bane. Rabadons. I'm going to put that below Rocket Belt. Also decent as Belveth. You kind of just want the flat AP. Locket is actually a relatively decent support item. It's not as good as um, Trailblazer and not as good as Celestial Opposition. I think I'm going to put it in C tier among some of these um, situational items. Abyssal. Uh, I'm going to put this in the same area as Force of Nature and Canic Recurrent. I think it's a little better than Force. Uh, just a very solid, heavy magic resist item. All right. Uh, Profane Hydra. We're going to put this at the bottom of B. I had a really good run um, playing that item for a while. Um, it is definitely not the best Hydra item for Belveth, but it is not bad either. Titanic. Titanic is actually a pretty popular jungle Belveth item. Um, it's lost in popularity uh, since its changes. I think it's just a lot more expensive now, but I'm going to go ahead and put that bottom of B tier, uh, maybe just above Profane Hydra. Okay, Solstice Slay. Uh, I think this is probably the worst support item for Belveth, so I'm going to put it like above these mana items. Right there. Very solid situational item for Belveth. Uh, I'll put it in bottom of B tier. I think it's better than people give it credit for, but it is obviously situational. I think I'm going to put it below Bork and Cyclosword and Stormraiser. Randuins. I think we're just going to put this um, above all the AP items. Uh, definitely a very solid heavy tank item. Uh, I will build this pretty frequently when I'm going high damage Belveth builds. Warmogs. Warmogs is very bad. Uh, we're going to put it below Static Shiv. Anathema is actually very solid. We're going to put it right behind Randuin's. Uh, I will build this pretty often when there's like a really heavy carry on the other team. All right, there you have it. That is every single item ranked in the tier list for Belveth. That was a lot of items. Uh, this recording unedited right now is uh, 36 minutes long. Uh, it took a very long time. Uh, I kind of forgot how many items there actually was in League, but I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know what you think of everything in the comments below. Uh, remember that I ranked this tier list based on not just uh, the best items statistically, but uh, if items are played in multiple lanes of Belveth, like jungle, support, top, mid. Um, if they're played in all the roles, they'll be ranked higher. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, leave your opinions in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.